Hey y'all, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and my craft table. I'm so glad that you're here. Welcome if you're new. Today is super fun. It is my daughter's birthday and I am up really early and I'm going to make some cute little um, treat buckets for her birthday party. She is 13 today, so she is sleeping in and we're gonna enjoy a great birthday party with her friends later. But I want, we don't do birthday parties too often. So I wanted to go ahead this time and make some little um, party favors. But instead of the traditional bags, I found these at the Dollar Tree. And so they're just these little pink buckets. And um, I thought that these would make great party favor bags. And we could just fill them with all kinds of little girly stuff and a little bit of candy. So let's go ahead and get started on this project and see how these turn out. Okay, so for the first thing that I'm going to do is I actually found um, this pattern paper right here. I really like it. And, you know, I don't often get an opportunity to use my pattern paper. So I thought, why not? This is um, this is actually Cricut pattern paper. I want to say it's some sort of woodland sampler. It has like a plaid, a buffalo check plaid, and it's got a black and white kind of plaid little deal. But anyway, I really think it's just super fun. So what I did is I took the first initial of each of the girls that will be at the party today and just typed them into design space and found a font that I liked. This one kind of looks a little retro. I know that that's really in style right now. Like it's super on trend is all the retro groovy prints. So now that I have these weeded out, so it was super, super easy, I am going to just kind of set those aside for right now because we're going to start building the little buckets. So let me tell you what I purchased. I bought six of these little buckets. They don't tell you like, I don't know what the capacity is, but they're about three and a half, four inches tall. And I would say they're about four inches in diameter along the top. The bottom is definitely smaller. And then I purchased some decorative shred. And then I purchased a little uh, curly gift bow. These come with a two pack. So I only had to buy three of these. So we'll put this in the bottom and we will wrap them up with these here at the end. I thought it would be maybe smart to put them inside of a cellophane bag, just that way the contents doesn't fall out and go everywhere. I did purchase a little bit of candy, you know, just something to stick in there. I bought six of the Utterly Smooth hand creams. I did buy a package of Emery boards. I figured I could open them and put a couple in each little bucket or maybe one. I purchased about six of these fun colors. So we've got, I don't even know what colors these are. This is Frosted Petal. Um, this is Rowdy. That's so fun. And then we have Cherry Blossom. We have Lilac Love, feeling it with no G. It has the apostrophe. And then this one's kind of fun. It's real shimmery like a mermaid. It's called Lunar. I really like that. I might go get that myself. But it's called Color Vibe, and it has a gel-like shine. I just bought six of those, one for each girl. I bought, and these, there's two different ones. These are just um, strawberry scented lip gloss and this one is a just a berry like a mixed berry and then a strawberry i found some glitter bath bombs so i hope the moms don't get mad at me <laughs> glitter bath bombs they 
look so fun. Um, I'll have to warn the moms, I think. And then I bought two of each kind. I just bought these little pins. You just turn it. And I did test them before I left the store. So I thought these would be a super cute addition as well. So that's everything that I purchased to go in here. Now what we need to do is we're gonna go ahead and prep the surface of each of these little buckets. I am basically going to just use some rubbing alcohol and I'm just gonna go over the surface of the bucket. I am going to grab my letters and I'm gonna get some transfer tape and we're gonna put the letters on. Okay, so I think that the best thing for me to do today, mainly due to time, I'm going to cover this with transfer tape and then I'll burnish it down and we'll just cut them all apart. And I have had this particular transfer tape for quite a while. So, you know, I, I actually have tons of transfer tape in a few different sizes. So I'm not gonna worry today about um, not saving all of the transfer tape. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. Pulled back about an inch, got that exposed. Then I'll just release just like this. Okay. And then I'm just gonna burnish this down really good on both sides. Okay, so Halloween is over. Today is actually Dia de los Muertos, November 2nd at the time of filming. And we are now into holiday season. How was everybody's Halloween? Was it a good Halloween? We actually had a great one here. It was so cold though. Um, in fact, I think it snowed earlier in the day. It didn't stick, but it did snow. Um, I think we went through a couple of pots of coffee. We had the neighborhood is like a huge block party. Literally, it looks like something out of the movies. You know, there's people everywhere. Yeah, some people are doing shows on their front lawn. Some people are doing hot cocoa. Some people are doing, you know, hot dogs and chips instead of candy. Like, it's just really an amazing party. And there's hundreds and hundreds of people, and it lasts for hours. It's crazy. But it was super fun. Um, we did chili and stuff inside. And then the kids went trick or treating. It just, it just was super fun. But I am so tired, and school was so hard yesterday. Day after Halloween at school, whew, that was hard. So, anyway, I hope that your Halloween was a good one. So, basically, I'm just going to peel these off. And I'm using the cup cradle mainly because I don't want this to rock and roll. And I'm just going to go you know, in between the two ends here. And I'm just going to place that down. You could definitely put these down without transfer tape, but I have it, so why not? So there is one. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the others like this ready, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, these are so cute. Um, when I put these down, I did just go down the middle with my finger and out to the sides, as you could see. And you know, the transfer tape actually was very helpful, um, more so than I thought it would be. Okay, so our next piece, but we're just gonna put some of this paper in the bottom of each bucket. And I'm trying to decide if I want to put a little bit of white and a little bit of pink. You know, it's a party. Why not? So I'm just going to grab a little bit of each color. 
And I'm just going to stick that down in each bucket, just like that. You could always make your own um, filler. If you have a paper shredder, you could empty it out, throw some um, wrapping paper in or whatever kind of paper you have and go to town. If you have the ones that do strips. <laughs> I don't know that I would do the micro cut. You'd end up with some confetti which could also be a fun party element is making your own confetti. Oh, I think this is going to be perfect. And a little more pink there. Okay, so all of the buckets are now filled with some filler. Let me clean this part up and then we will go ahead and move on to filling them up. Okay, so now I literally am just going to go and start filling these up with all of the things. I think it'll be super cute when it's done. And the best thing is that you can absolutely, like I need to adjust some of the filler around. I can do that. It's kind of like a little assembly line. Um, I think definitely we're gonna just need to arrange things so that they look super cute put the big things in first right these they smell like vanilla it's not a really strong vanilla but it is vanilla i have to laugh i showed my daughter all the little things and she was like mom they're gonna think that like we're rich or something. I was like, yeah, I don't know that that's going to happen, but <laughs> appreciate the photo confidence. Okay, so now I'm just going to add the nail polish. It was super cute, but she was excited. I was a little worried that she wouldn't like the things that I had picked out. I think she was excited and maybe a little impressed with her mom just slightly now i've got extra little emery boards left over all right so the only thing left is to throw some candy in here and i just figured i would throw a little bit of candy in each bucket do you like laffy taffy i really do like i think it's it's a fun and i love the banana that's my favorite that one has Jolly Ranchers. This one needs some Jolly Ranchers. I Hopefully that was um, even. <laughs> oh, not that I think it'll matter. Okay, so now the big experiment will be whether or not these fit in these little bags here. I thought these would be easier than using the... Um, cellophane wrap or something like that. See, let's see, I got three, six, perfect. So then I'm just gonna take one of these little bags and I would say the thickness on these is, is decent. So open it up, place it underneath, and then I'm just gonna pull it up like a sock, trying not to disturb the bucket. Get it as even, Steven, on the bottom as possible. And then use one of these little twist ties. And then the next piece will be to put one of these on there. Now, of course, this will be the dilemma because I'm thinking these are not sticky. So I actually think what I need to do is untie it and put this in there with the tie. So just so you know, if you purchase those from the Dollar Tree, they they do not come with like a little tab that's already sticky. And then we'll just kind of fluff that up a little bit. And then right here, there's the cute little bucket with all of the little party favors. That is so cute. So relatively inexpensive overall super cute definitely fun to put together and the presentation 
That looks so good. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap up the rest of those. Okay, well, I have all of them ready to go, and they really do look super cute. They were super easy, fun, relatively inexpensive, and I am super excited about how these turned out. So if you need a quick, inexpensive, and easy way to do up a little party favor bag, especially for teen girls, then this is what I would recommend is get some little buckets from Dollar Tree, find some things to stuck, uh, stick in them, a little bit of candy, some filler, cute bows, and then they do fit nicely in the little loot party bags from Dollar Tree as well. Okay, well, that's all I have for you today. I'm so glad that you are here with me, and I really appreciate you spending your time with me at the craft table. Don't forget, if you found this video helpful or inspiring in any way, to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And as always, until I see you in the next video, have an amazing day and happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.